are. The physical creation of your body takes place in the bones. And I say this because bones are the dense, semi-rigid, porous, calcified connective tissues forming the major portion of the skeleton of most vertebrates and are made up of mineral-filled rings and blood vessels that run through canals in each group of rings and blood vessels entering and exiting specific points along the bones. Inside of the bones, you have what is called the marrow, which is the tissue of the bone that is responsible for the production of your blood cells. Welcome to Back to the Basics, where you learn facts, hope you embrace it. Watch, like, share, bring in awareness. Watch, like, share, bring in awareness. I'm fearless. Welcome to Back to the Basics, where you learn facts, hope you embrace it. Watch, like, share, bring in awareness. Watch, like, share, bring in awareness. Since everything in the universe created by the Ethereans, the orb scientists, has the tendency to move in circles, so is it true for your blood. Blood is the essential red fluid that is pumped by the heart through the circle or circulatory system of your body as well as animals. The circulatory system is the route by which the cells in your body gets the oxygen and nutrients they need. But blood is the actual carrier of the oxygen and nutrients. Your blood is highly complex in its composition and in its function. It has two main constituents, the cell which comprises about 45% and the liquid portion called plasma which comprises about 55%. The plasma is a complex colorless solution, about 90% water, that carries different ions and molecules, including proteins, enzymes, hormones, nutrients, waste materials such as urea and fibrinogen, which is the protein that aids in clotting. Your blood cell contains three main types that circulates in the plasma, such as red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. Red blood cells are also called erythrocytes. They carry the oxygen of the three types of blood cells. Red blood cells are the most abundant in your body. In fact, a healthy adult has trillions of them. Your body is dedicated to creating these cells at a fast rate, but they each have a lifespan of about 120 days. This also correlates to the fact that each human was supposed to live for at least 120 years. However, bad upkeep of the skin suit called your body has changed that over time. Another type is your white blood cells, which are also called leukocytes. These are your internal warriors whose primary purpose is to ward off infections. These cells, which come in many shapes and sizes, are vital to your innate immune system. When your body is fighting off infections, it makes them an ever-increasing amount. But still, compared to the number of red blood cells in your body, the number of white blood cells is low. The third type is platelets, also called thrombocytes. This helps your blood to clot and the body tissues to heal. Clotting stops the blood from flowing out the body when a vein or artery is punctured. Now, since some people believe that we all came from Adam and Eve, who is believed to be the first human beings, then why doesn't everyone look exactly alike? Better yet, why don't we all have the same blood type? Because when God created Adam, he would have given him his own blood type. And if you had a blood type that was not of God, then you were considered ungodly because Adam was like God, right? Anyway, the truth is the genes that we inherit from our personal creator, which is our parents, determine our blood type. It's a medical fact that there are different blood types. And if there are different blood types, then there are different genomes on earth, put here by different creators of each blood type. Things that make you go, hmm, in 1901, an immunologist named Carl Landsteiner classified human blood into four groups, A, B, AB, and O. Based on the presence of antigen A and B, which are substances on the membrane of the red blood cells that could change its form of antibodies when injected into the bloodstream. Because of the presence of specific antigens on A, B, and AB blood types and blood transfusion, the donor and blood recipient blood type must be compatible. People with O blood has no antigens present and thus are called universal donors because they can donate blood to anyone, but they can only receive a transfusion from other people with type O blood. So I guess it's safe to say that blood types are racist. What? Then there is another antigen called the RH factor. For disease blood originally mutated into a distinct blood type such as the RH blood. The RH factor was discovered by Alexander S. Weiner while working with the blood of the rhesus monkey when he discovered that the red blood cells in most humans were similar to that of the rhesus monkey. 
RH positive mean that the RH factor is present and RH negative mean that the RH factor is not present in the blood. The RH negative blood is anti-human and carnivorous because it eats up the RH positive blood cells. We know this to be a fact because in the case when an RH negative mother carries an RH positive child, it is possible that the blood from the fetus while in the womb of its mother or even during birth can seep into the mother's bloodstream. When this happens, she then begins to produce RH antibodies, which can diffuse across the placenta into the fetus, eating up the baby's red blood cells much faster than the baby can replace them. And since red blood cells carry oxygen to all parts of the body, the fetus will not get enough. This is called erythroblastosis fatalis, which is a hemolytic disease that makes the red blood cells useless, causing serious illness and even death in the child. Genetic compatibility was very important to our ancient ancestors. They understood that DNA is contained in the blood. And in order to protect the future of our genetic history, they were very mindful of who they mixed their seed with. And so shall you. I'm Kev Frey, and this is Back to the Basic. Like, share, and subscribe. Facts we stated, you wanna know something, go back to basics. Most saw trapping was called the matrix, the world fibbalized, yet it's hard to face it. So I spread truth, hope you embrace it.